Just give the Lord a mind and clap this morning. Hallelujah. Come on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ah. Tell your neighbor, it's a beautiful morning. Tell your neighbor, it's a beautiful morning. And if you're next to me, I want it to be beautiful as this morning. Yay. Come on, come on. Don't fear them. Tell them I want it to be very happy. I want it to be very happy. If you can't, that's more than King David getting get away from me. Yeah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Our God is great. Our God is great and greatly to be praised. He reigns forever. Hallelujah. Now we're going to praise his name. We're going to lift his name on high. He's the Lord Almighty. Can you give the Lord a mad and clap of praise?
very simple song, we can learn it together. We say we are complete. Just make that declaration to God of the I'll sing one more time for us. We are perfect in you. We praise your name. Yeah. And we are complete in you. We bless your name. Now you're going to join me and we. Tonight we 
is not in the cadence. Yes, Lord. You are Jesus. Right. You are right for Jesus. He's able. Yes. He's the great and mighty God. He's able. Yes, Lord. Jesus. Give the Lord a mile and clap of praise. Come on. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. We are still praising our God. He's a very able God. And we, we've got a reason to magnify His name. Praise the Lord. We have we've got a reason to praise and dance for Him. For He has done a lot of things for us. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The Lord is wonderful and is mighty to be glorified. And every man will bow at your throne and worship. Every knee will bow at your throne. God worship every knee will bow at his throne and worship every knee will bow at his throne. Shapa katale barakataka or a every knee will bow, will bow, will bow. E malako shaka taka bayadi will bow. Yes, yes. Oh God, every tongue in heaven and earth shall declare Your glory. Every knee will bow at His throne. Hey, ah. and worship He will be. Oh God, Ebakosa, and your kingdom shall not pass away. Ah, every tongue in heaven and earth, all nations shall declare your glory. Free knee will bow, will bow, hey. Will bow, ha! Will bow. You will be exalted, Ebekasatata, and your kingdom shall not pass away, Ebekatata Kaya. Every time shall declare your glory, every day. Ele kare maso taya dade ba, iele le mana mamo soba la dade. E ma e na na ma, e a na ma ma se a se a. Iye ma ma wando soba e la pa e ba. Oh, oh. Every tongue will confess that you will be exalted. Can somebody exalt God? I feel we need to exalt Him. Emele kano ma shoma na ma eba, ele kali lamba no ma mo. Yes. Yeah, ma e mama koba eba. Shall declare your glory every day. Will bow on your throne. <laughs> and the world shall be open. You will be lifted high. You will be exalted. High. You will be magnified. You will be ah, lifted, my love. You will be. You 
there will be lifted on high. You will be lifted, my master. Hey, my I will lift your name on high. Hey, let I ever tell a day. And I'm a master, my you will be a sorted. Oh, God. Hey, 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 hey. Satata Kabaya Dade. You will be exalted, oh God. Oh, the presence of God is here. The presence of God is here. You will be exalted, oh God. And your kingdom shall not. Oh. Oh, Bareba, cry out to God. His kingdom shall never pass away. His kingdom shall never pass away. Kemele Kora Basepa, Asheke Teleba, from everlasting to everlasting. His kingdom will never pass away. Ha ha ha. Apako Tekele Barade, Epa Sotaya Dekebaya, Isheke Tekelema. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, he's the ascent of the Isa. Oh, Sabayebo Sataya Rakaba. Yeah, he's one. Shataye.
is the kingdom. He's the Lord is word. He's the Lord is word. Hey, mama, name us, We sing yours. He's the kingdom. Yours. He's the power. Yours. Is the glory forever? Amen. Yours, yours is the kingdom. Yours is the power. Yes, give him the glory. Yours, yours. Is the kingdom yours? Is the power yours? Is the glory forever? Yours, yours. Is the yale masabaye rakabaya la balikaza. Call his name Yeshua, yes. Oh, call his name Yeshua, Yeshua. Call his name, call his name, yes. Yeshua, Ebo Sarabaga. Now lift your voice, everybody, and magnify his name. Shere Barabako, Jagatale Barabako, Jaba. Lead your voice, church, and magnify his name. Oh, call his name, call his name, yeah. Yes, church, worship him. Oh. Yes, worship him right now. Yeshua, Yeshua, Yeshua. Ah, oh, ah. We call your name Yeshua, Yeshua. He's worthy. He's worthy. Shut up. Wow. 
Jesus pay it all Oh, to him my own Sin had left a dream so stay Can someone ascend with me? Can someone ascend to the realms of fire and to the realms of glory from one degree of glory to another beholding the Lord Behold the glory of God. Behold the glory of God. The latter glory. The latter glory. The latter glory. The latter rain. Someone ascend with me. Let us go into the realms of glory. Let's keep ascending. Let's keep soaring. Let's keep soaring. Through the realms of power. Through the realms of fire. Far above. Far above, 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 let the angels carry you. Let the wind of the Lord carry you. On the wings of glory. Keep ascending. Keep rising. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep Keep ascending until you transact. Keep ascending until you transact. Keep ascending. Keep ascending. Call the Lord. Worthy is the Lord. Worthy is the Lord. Worthy is the Lord. Jesus Christ is the Lord. Jesus Christ is Lord. Jesus Christ is Lord. Jesus Christ is King. Jesus 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 Christ, Jesus Christ, is Lord, 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 is
ascend on that confession that Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord. Jesus. 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 Keep ascending. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Until you are no more. Until you are no more. Until you are no more. Jesus. You can lift that voice. You must send the voice. Your ride. Ascend with your confession. Jesus is king. Yes. He is enthroned. Exalted over the nations. Exalted as king. We exalt you, Jesus. We exalt you, Son of God. We exalt you, Lamb of God. Jesus. Jesus. Oh, come, let us adore. Oh, come, let us adore. Oh, come, let us adore. He is Christ, the Lord. Oh, come, let us adore. Sagada Osaya <laughs> de Ricola Sadia Sadia Residia Shaya Rasaya Gadadada de Lamb of God Sire at the right hand of the Father, you only. Lamb of God, see Ah! Uh -huh. 
We love you, Jesus. 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 Yada, 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 Zayare yara de yara do. I'll put you in front, front of my man. if possible and if possible why don't we lift holy hands to the king of glory and why don't we lift our voices and tell him that majesty worship is majesty
We are here. Majesty, we are here. Tuliwana which tea. Maradusha. Majesty, the nations are here. Majesty. 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 I'm here to report that the nations are here. The people are here. Ancient of days. Rock of ages. The nations are here. Those that the blood of your son bought from nations, from every tongue, from every tribe, from every people, to be a kingdom of priests and kings. Here we are now. Majesty. Majesty. I report the nations. I report the nations that have gathered on your altar for consecration that you sanctify us for the end time revival for the outpouring of your spirit like a mighty wind like a mighty wind like a mighty, wind, like a mighty storm majesty the nations are here for the revival for the seven and seven hundred years of revival for a move that will not cease for a wind that will not be stopped for a fire that cannot be quenched now we here majesty the nations are here majesty yeah, the remnants those you preserved those you kept those you hidden for many years they are here now they are here to be commissioned they are here to be presented you have hidden them in many years of consecration you preserved them majesty the chosen are here tonight. Oh, God, yeah. 
The outpouring of the Spirit begins right now. The outpouring of the fire of God in this generation begins right now. Begins right now. A people chosen for such a time. A people chosen for such a time. A people chosen for such a time. For such a time. For such a time. A people chosen for such a time. Here we are. Oh! So matter where you're standing, a people chosen with a special unique assignment trusted with the end time keys End time keys of revival. End time keys of territories. End time keys of nations. End time keys of realms. End time keys of realms. Unlock them. Unlock them. Unlock rams. Unlock rams. Rams. Unlock rams. Open them one by one. They that God has trusted with end time keys. End time keys. End time prophecies. End time revelations. End time anointings. Now take off. Now act. Now act. Now go into action now. Go into action now. Now go into action now. And time keys. And time songs. And time sounds. And time songs. And time melodies. And time melodies. And time melodies. And time sounds. And time keys. And time voices. Call the nations to repentance. Call nations to repentance. Call kings to repentance. Call authorities to repentance. Call the Take action, act now. Take action, act now. And time keys. And time keys. And time songs. Declare the coming of the Lord. Melodies of revival. Melodies of revival. Melodies of redemption. Melodies of birthing nations. Melodies of birthing revivals. Let me hear the midwives. Let me hear the midwives. Midwife intercessors. Midwife intercessors. Release the sound now. The rising of warriors. The rising of worshippers. The rising of prayer warriors. You have the key to unlock them. You have the key. You have the sound. You have the message. You have the revelation. You have the bread. You have the anointing. One by one. One by one. One by one. In this meeting. End time apostles. End time worshippers. One by one. One by one. You are unveiled. You are unveiled. Unveiled to the nations. Unveil to your generation. Unveil to your people. One by one. One by one. Shakata diada. Brekata disa. Sakata dia. Shiana daya. Rikata daya. End time keys. In a city. Opening rams. In the city. Opening rams. 
mystery reigns. Mystery reigns. That have been unknown. Rikata no shata. Rikere batate. I see the heaven open. 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 I see the chariots. 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 I see the heaven open. I see the angel. I see the angel. The angel of Uganda. The angel of Indonesia. The angel of Botswana. I see him now. The angel of the United States. The angel of the United Kingdom. The angel of the nations. Entrusted to you. I see the heaven open. I see the heaven open. Rikata di koshataya. Rikata dea. Shalateyata. You have the key. I hear the Lord say, tell that man, she, he doesn't need to look for another man. He has the key. Tell that woman, he doesn't need another man. She has the keys. She has the knowledge. She has the grace. She has the authority. In her bloodline, she's an authority. She has the key of the bloodline. She has the key. You have the key. You have the key to call. You have the key. The heaven is open. The chariots, the Kentania, you have the peace. Ba 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 
You have the keys. What you're looking for is in your hand. What they are looking for is in your hand. You have it. You have it. You were born with it. They could not take it. They could not destroy it. They could not steal it. Ayada. 
Woman, we have been waiting for you. Woman, woman, your star is brighter. Your star is brighter. Release that sound I hear. Release that song I'm hearing somewhere there. Come on, take it higher, take it louder. I hear the shift in the rain. Al alignment. Aligning nations, aligning destinies, and blocking nations. Release the sound, prophesy in the sound. It's a healing melody, it's an awakening sound. It's a sound. Like a sound of many waters. A sound of healing. A sound of awakening. Come on, come on, come on. This is... heads and say Emmanuel 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 one more time Iman Emmanuel
Come on, church. Let's give the Lord a hand of praise. I know you can do it better than that. Give the Lord praise. Let's have our seats. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is a praise song. Jesus is glorified. He has taken my pain and given me laughter. I've got a melody in my heart. A new song in my mouth. I will sing for joy until the world of his greater works. Emmanuel has done it again. Emmanuel has done it again, no. Emmanuel has done it again, no. I have come to testify. He has done it again, no. Emmanuel has done it again, no. Emmanuel has done it again, no.
Just sit down briefly. Because I, we may miss what God is about to do. Before I proceed with any other program, I want to tell you the theme of this camp. Winning blood battles. Winning blood battles. Ten days before the Lord. And one thing we are doing. Winning blood battles. Allow me to say this. There are people that are saying. What have I not done? in the Lord. What have we not done as a nation? What have we not done as a generation? Last night the Lord said to me, Go equip my people to win blood battles. Because he said to me, Many of the people in the church have never known how to fight in the blood realm. Many have never known that the blood is a realm and how to enter that realm. What the enemy did, he shifted the battle from the realms of fire and realms and took in the realm of blood. Now until the church lands to win blood battles. Uh, this is the time to reverse disorders to unblock destinies to release captives as we learn to fight blood battles. Blood battles. Battles in the blood. Battles in the realm of the blood. How do you ascend there? How do you stand there? How do you go into the battle? and get back the book of your nation and get back the book of your life and get back the book of your ministry you need to know how to fight blood battles amen we may take one of, we may take like 12 hours repenting only. 12 hours in prophetic worship. 12 hours in prophetic intercession in order to stand in our place where the enemy cannot challenge you anymore. Cannot challenge your life anymore. And I'm telling you this is a unique time. 
This is a unique time. It's not for everyone. It's for those God has been preparing to win blood battles. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. To deal with generational distortions. To call back inheritances. You haven't heard what I said. To call inheritances that were sold. Oh my God, I wish I'm talking to somebody. You know, there are many nations that their revival were supposed to be seven years ago. And the evil one delayed it. Because the saints did not understand the keys to win blood battles. Am I talking to somebody? You know, the, the reason you have blood disorders is because of blood battles. The reason every member of your family suffers the same calamity blood battles the reason your children as innocent as they may be they are afflicted they are in disorders they are blocked it's because of blood battles slaves are riding horses and princes are walking on foot because of blood battles. There are many people occupying thrones illegally. I don't know what I say. I say there are many people sitting on thrones illegally. But they are ruling nations. Oh my God, I wish I'm talking to somebody. They are called presidents. But in the spirit, they are illegally there. And the legal owners are begging them. Until you rise and fight blood battles and the legal owners take their thrones, then the, your nation will celebrate because the rightful owner will take the seat. I wish I'm talking to somebody. The rightful king is somewhere in exile because of blood battles. But when you learn to sort out that mess, you will take your right place. The thrones have been occupied illegally. Thrones are saying enough is enough. I need the right Owner. The one sitting on me is illegal. He's not supposed to be here. Listen. Thrones are going to rebel. Offices are going to rebel and say you're not supposed to be in me. You're not supposed to be on me. You're not supposed to sit on me. You're not supposed to rule these people. You are occupying me illegally. Now I'm rebelling. You better command that throne of your nation to rebel against the illegal occupants. You better tell that throne rebel against the occupant who is occupying you illegally. Somebody, somebody must understand what I'm dealing with. This is not for the faint heart. This is not for the little ones. This is for they that are saying. Enough is enough. Thrones. Thrones. In the United States. America. Will rebel. Against the illegal occupants. You haven't heard what I said. You have never known 
that you are an authority that the throne has been longing for you to occupy it to redeem it oh my god I wish I'm talking somebody there is a throne that is saying I am tired of the oppression I am tired of the corruption I am tired of the bloodshed I need one who's supposed to be on me you better tell a certain office office rebel against the one occupying illegal address the office address that seat address it and tell it I incite you I incite you I incite you You throne I incite you Against that man You throne I incite you Against the wicked Who is occupying you Do I have a warrior My pastor are you hearing me Tell the throne I incite you Against the wicked Who is occupying you I incite you I charge you Against the wicked Who is occupying you I cry Are you throne Rebel Against the wicked this is high density it's not for the normal intercessor it's not for the ordinary prayer warrior I'm talking about the men and women who God has given keys to thrones to realms to shift them to lock them all open them this is not for the chat people no this is not for the chat folks this is for the warrior in the realm you shall appear and the realm submit you shall appear and the realm submit and we shall incite a throne against a wicked king I might talk to somebody. Do I have an authority here? Do I have a warrior? I am seeing your face as hard as flint. You shall look to a throne and you shall say, What are you saying? And you shall tell the throne, I incite you against that man. You need to pray dangerously. Oh, yeah, na, 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 na. Do I have a prayer warrior here? Do you have a prayer warrior here? Do you have a prayer warrior here? Say you throne. I incite you against that man. The wicked that occupied you for the last five years. Now I incite you against him. Against his powers. Lift your voice and pray. I incite you, I incite you, I incite you to fight the illegal occupant who has occupied you. I'm not hearing you. That territory, in that territory, there is a throne. You need to incite it and, and tell it to challenge, to, challenge, to rebel against the wicked. Do I have someone here? Jesus. Yes. Jesus. Yes. Jesus. Yes. Jesus. Yes. Jesus. Yes. Jesus. Yes. I incite you. Speak to that throne right now. Speak to it 
right now. Incite it, incite it. Incite it to rebel against the wicked. Incite it, incite it. Incite it to rebel against the illegal occupant. Incite it. I do not know what throne that the Lord is bringing to you right now. But charge it, charge it. Charge it to rebel. Charge it to rebel. Incite it to rebel. Incite it to rebel against the illegal occupant. Against the illegal occupant. Against the wicked. I incite you. Oh throne, oh throne. I incite you today. Oh throne, oh throne. I incite you today. Rebel. Against the illegal occupant. Rebel. Against the illegal occupant. Inside that office. Inside that office. Inside that office. To vomit the illegal occupant. Inside him right now. To rebel against the illegal occupant. Inside, inside. Inside the throne. Inside the throne. Inside the throne. Inside the throne. Parasikaya kadadane. Can I say something? Before let me say this way. Can't you get it? You know. You will not take that office until you win blood battles. Do you hear what I'm talking about? The inheritance is yours. But you need to win blood battles. There are layers and layers of blood which are realms of warfare which you need to silence one by one. And you will find your son hidden in some realms. Have you heard what I said? There are layers and layers of blood, blood wars. That as you undo them, as you silence them, you'll find your son where he is sleeping in a region of captivity. And you will tell him, my boy, wake up. Let us go. Did you hear what I said? Hear what I said? You will win those battles and suddenly you'll find your daughter. Suddenly you'll find your spouse. Suddenly you'll find your pastor. Suddenly you'll find your wife and say, wake up. You've been sleeping enough. You've been sleeping enough. You know, listen. There is a warrior in your house. From your womb, there is a warrior. From your womb, there is one who will slay the giant. From your womb, there is one who carries a sword. You've not heard what I said. From 
the womb of your destiny. There is one who carries a sword. And when you find him, he will break the curse. Your son, they call wasted. He's the one to end the curse. They've not heard what I say. The one they say is wasted. He's the one that will end the curse. The one they say that has an incurable disease is the one that has the sword. I haven't heard what I said. The one they say dropped out of school is the one with a sword. The one they say he's wasted. He's the one who has the sword. And we need to go in the realms of blood one by one and undo deep ancient blood covenants and challenge ancient blood covenants. God, somebody, I'm talking to somebody in this house. Actually, you are the one with the sword. The battles on your life is because they know the sword in you. Let me talk to a man. There is a man in this meeting. Even in the occultic assemblies, they discuss you. Even in a high level meeting of witches, satans and freemasons, every time they try to do their things, you pop in. You appear and they say, What have you come to do? You see, they, you see them in your dreams, even when they are. You see them in your dreams, even when they're in another nation, even when you do not want. You find yourself in their meetings and they have to start again because you shall sabotage whatever they are doing. I say, yes, you are the child that sabotaged an ancient cycle when you were born. Have you heard? Your birth sabotaged an ancient cycle. You are the first not to worship their gods. You are the first to worship another god. You sabotage the cycle. You sabotage history many years of witchcraft when you were born you sabotaged it and they are telling you you are supposed to continue with the worship of this God but you are bringing a contrary God in the blood you are bringing a contrary God in the blood. Am I done somebody? You are not just worshipping. You are bringing a contrary God in the blood. Ending hundreds of years of an evil worship, of profane worship. Am I done somebody? You are ending generations because you are bringing in a God they didn't think will ever come in. 
Mokoya Lika Limasi Anana Lokota Lesi Arabosia Jita. I didn't know why they were mad at me. Because they were saying, this is thousands of years of worshiping like this. Do you think you as one, you will end it? My birth sabotaged it. My, it's not going as planned. So I'm cutting off thousands of years of profane worship. Every time you lift your hands, remember this. You are sabotaging. Every time you say, Yahweh, that's a God that has not been in the blood. When you say, Jesus, that's a God that has not been in the blood. How am I talking to somebody? When you say Jesus, you are saying a God that has not been in the blood. And you are introducing a God that's contrary to the gods that they sacrifice to. And you are bringing in another blood. You are bringing in another blood, another blood, the blood of Yeshua. They are searching, and every time they search, they find a different blood, which they can't manipulate, which they can't change, which they can't control. And they say, who brought this blood? And they answer themselves, James Kawalia has brought that blood that is defeating us, that is undoing things, that is cutting things. Somebody shout hallelujah. 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 Sit down. ones. Listen, let me talk to you. There are meetings. There are meetings you have been appearing in in your dreams. And you appearing, you cut a process. There are meetings. They have seen you there. And they've been saying, She's watching us. He is watching us. We have to stop now. Until another 10 years. And many thrones and many evil altars will be deserted when you are sent and win blood battles. Allow me to do one thing before I, before I tell you anything. Let me call the children here to pray for them. Children, where are you? You did not come today? Run here, run here quickly. The other time you accused me of not calling you. All our children come here. We bring our children to the altar. Children, come running, come faster. We want to preserve you in the next 10 days. Because we are going to go into blood battles for you to shine in your generation. Teachers, please arrange them faster. Jesus loves me. 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 
Jesus loves me. Jesus loves me. Jesus loves me. Jesus loves me. Hallelujah. Oh, 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 Jesus loves me. I don't hear you. You're not Jesus singing. We're going to have a dance competition. If you win me, you give me a gift. If I win you, I give you a gift. Which way to compete with me? Dance competition. Let me see the hands. <laughs> You want to dance to win me? You're not my friend. <laughs> We're going to have a dance competition. Who wants to compete with me? If you win me, huh? I give you a gift. You give me a gift. If I win you, you give me a gift. Okay. If you if you're gonna if you want to be part of this competition, come here. We're going to, to, to dance from here. I'm ready. I'm going to put off my coat. Dance competition. Daddy versus all of these people. Daddy, Somebody get ready to give me a good song. You're going to dance. You want to dance? You want to compete with me? How many want to dance? Come here, come here. Those who want to win the dance. Do, you have, do I have supporters here? Do you have fans here? If you are, if you are a fan of Pastor James, say amen. Will I win this race? Will I win this race? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11. Only? Uh -huh. I'm going to win this race. Now, in every race, now listen to me before we dance. In every race, there are, pre there are the first stages, the second stages, then you go to the to the semi-finals, and you, and you go to the. <laughs> Hello, sweetie. You okay? Come here. Where? If Amen. Okay. Now to qualify for the dance. To qualify for a dance. You need to do one thing for me. Only one. And if you do it, you come here. One thing for me. One chapter in the Bible. Okay. Three verses. If you have three verses, you come and compete with me. Mazina Okay, one verse. Come here. Come and tell. Give me the microphone. Come here. One verse. Mm -hmm. Mm. I love your smile. It's like mine. Eh? Mm. Yeah, we have a what am I, God? No! 
No way, Bia. Okay. What a mighty gummy, sir. What a mighty gummy, sir. And jump up before him. And we the door him. What a mighty gummy, sir. What a mighty gummy. start to dance now. You want to also join? Give me the microphone. Uh -huh. uh, you have this one. Com competition is going on here today. Uh -huh. Proverbs. Proverbs. Competition in final stages. Hey, I don't have a deal. You have a verse? Mm. You want to dance? You have to have a verse. Anyone with a chapter today? To, anyone with a chapter? A chapter? Come here before the dance. A chapter? Please get ready for the competition. I have the national title, by the way. In the spirit. <laughs> I dance well in the spirit. Okay. Verse chapters? A chapter? A chapter? A chapter? A chapter? Uh huh. A chapter? Not a verse, a chapter? Okay. Okay. My, my friend. Okay, it's okay. Hello. How are you? Good. You're good? Uh -huh. Okay. Hello. You good? Okay. Ready? Let's go. I am Nama Rebecca Bless, and I'm reading from the book of Revelation, chapter 15. It says, Then I saw in the sky another mysterious sight, great and amazing. There are seven angels with, with seven pledges, which are the last ones, because they are the final expression of God's anger. Then I saw what looked like a sea of glass mixed with fire. I also saw those who had won the victory over the beast and its image, and over the one whose name is represented by a number. They are standing by the sea of glass, holding cups that God had given them, singing the song of Moses, the servant of God, and the song of the Lamb. Lord God Almighty, how great and wonderful are your deeds, King of the nations, how true and wonderful are yours, who not stand in our way of you, Lord, who refuse to declare your greatness. You alone are holy. All the nations will worship you, because your just actions are seen by all. After this, the after this, I saw the temple in heaven opened with a sacred tent in it. The seven angels who had seven pledges came out of the temple dressed in clean, shining linen with gold bands tied around their chest. Then one of the four living creatures gave the seven angels seven gold balls full of the anger of God, who lives forever and ever. The temple was filled with smoke from the glory and power of God, and no one could go into the temple until the seven pledges were brought by the seven angels had come to an end. Come, come, come here. Come here. Come, 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 come. You know these kids? I think they are going to one day be in heaven to judge us. When you hear a child reading Revelation 15, not, not, not Psalms 23. But Revelation 15, you better read your Bible. I'm just imagining if they said to enter heaven, you need one chapter. How many of us will enter? One chapter. And they say Psalms 23 is not there. And they say one chapter except Psalms 23. You don't read what someone wanted there. No, 
Ah, uh -huh. don't make your parents angry. Mm, okay, you go for the chapter. Praise God. I'm Aliza Shalom Kisembo. I'm going to read from the book of Colossians chapter 3. And it says, If you then be risen with Christ, seek those things which are above, where Christ sitteth on the right hand of God. Set your affection on things above, not on things on the earth. For ye are dead, and your life is hid with Christ in God. When Christ, who is our life, shall appear, then shall we also appear with him in glory. Mortify therefore our members which are upon the earth, fornication, uncleanness, inordinate affection, evil concupiscence, and covetousness, which is idolatry. For which things sake the wrath of God cometh on the children of disobedience, in the which ye also walked some time when ye lived in them. But now ye also put off all these, hunger, wrath, malice, blasphemy, filthy communication from your mouth. Lie not one to another, seeing that ye have put off the old man with his deeds, and have put on the new man which is renewed after the image of him that created him. Where there is neither Greek nor Jew, circumcision nor uncircumcision, barbarian, Scythian, born nor free, for Christ is all and in all. Put on therefore as the elect of God, holy and beloved, bowels of mercies, kindness, humbleness of mind, meekness, and long suffering, forbearing one another and forgiving one another. If any man have a quarrel against any, even as Christ forgave you, so also do ye. And above all these things, put on charity, which is a bond of perfectness. And let the peace of God rule in your hearts, to the which also ye are called in one body, and be thankful. And let the word of Christ dwell in you richly in all wisdom, teaching and admonishing one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing with grace in your hearts to the Lord. And whatsoever ye do in word or deed, do only the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God and the Father by him. Wives, submit yourselves unto your own husbands, as it is fit in the Lord. Husbands, love your wives, and be not bitter against them. Children, obey your parents, for this is well-pleasing unto the Lord. Fathers, provoke not your children to anger, lest they be discouraged. Servants, obey in all things your masters according to the flesh, not with eye service as men pleasers, but with singleness of heart, fearing God. And whatsoever ye do, do it heartily as to the Lord and not unto men, knowing that of the Lord ye shall receive the reward of the inheritance, for ye serve the Lord Christ. But he that doeth wrong shall receive for the wrong which he has done, and there is no respect of persons. Chapter. You have a chapter of us. Praise God, church. I'm going to from Psalm 119, verse 1 to 11. It says, Blessed are the undefiled who walk in the way, who walk in the law of the Lord. Blessed are they that keep his testimonies and that seek him with the whole heart. They also do no iniquity. They walk in his ways. Thou hast commanded us to keep thy peace diligently. All that my ways were directed to keep thy commandments. Still continue. You still continue. <laughs> huh? You still have one. <laughs> if they tell us say it together, you just know what they're saying. Okay, we thank God for your Thank you. God bless you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. We promised a dance. Okay, come here. Uh-huh. It's time to dance. You are the one to say who is the winner, but automatically must be the one. <laughs> who are the people dancing with? Okay, give me a good song. We choose only two, me and someone else, okay? Let's dance for Jesus. Yeah. Ah. You know, I'm not 
Suspended the competition. <laughs> Till next Sunday. Back at Sunday, Dako. Every one of us is a winner in Jesus' name. Give me a high five. You a winner. You a winner. Give me a high five. You a winner. You a winner. You are a winner. You are a winner. Okay. We're going to pray for our children. Parents, I will request if possible, let's stand on our feet. In this church, we pray for our children every Sunday. And we lay hands on them until they grow up in the covering of the Lord. I feel tonight, this day, we want to believe God for their total liberty and freedom. I want to believe God to break every cycle of infirmity in their lives. I want to believe God to, to remove every claim of a curse on their lives. I want to believe God to send his sword and destroy every evil pashua. Whatever pursued them from the womb shall be cut off today. All covenants of the umbilical cord will be cut off today. We call the angel of deliverance to join this meeting now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Now lift your voice and pray, parents. Father God, in the name of Jesus. We release the voice of the blood of Jesus. To speak in every cell. In the bones themselves. Deep in their souls. Deep in your spirit. I release the sound, the voice the promises, the power and the atonement of the blood of Jesus I declare the blessing of the blood of Jesus I declare the blessing of the blood of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus I speak the blood of Jesus King of glory today in the name of Jesus every blood bat on the alliance that bring failure that bring disaster that bring rebellion we command it to cease now we command to cease now in the name of Jesus Father God today this moment be holy in their lives I consecrate your holy name the very moment of their birth the very moment of her conception I declare it holy full of the blood of Jesus and the eternal purposes of God I awaken you to greatness I awaken you to greatness in the mighty name of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus my father my God fill her with your fire of Father God, may your mighty spirit be upon him. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray the wisdom of God rest upon you. The power of the Lord Jesus rest upon you today. In the mighty name of Jesus, I bless you today. In the mighty name of Jesus, I let there be an impartation of the power of God. In the name of Jesus, my Father and my God, every word ever spoken against your will in his life be dismantled right now in the mighty name of Jesus destroy ungodly altars and evil sacrifices in the bloodline in the mighty name of Jesus I release you into greatness I release you into greatness I release you into greatness by the length of my hand let there be an impartation of the prophetic upon your life I awaken you I awaken the prophetic 
atmospheric upon you be redeemed and preserved in the mighty name of Jesus. May your eyes be open, your ears be attentive. May the voice of the Lord be through you in your generation in the mighty name of Jesus. Father God, let your glory shine. And I put the name of Jesus Christ. I pray the name of Jesus Christ over you right now. Over you right now. Over you right now. The power of the Holy Spirit come upon you mightily. O God Almighty. O God Almighty. I end today every cycle, every evil cycle, patterns of failure. I end them today in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Makorado Shataya. Ziyarababa Koshiria. Makatabroko Salaba. Parents in this room, I feel it's a prophetic moment. The transaction moment. I feel the Lord saying, we sh- "We're going to reverse disorders. We're going to unblock destinies. Pray for your child to be unblocked. Pray for your child. Pray for your son to be unblocked. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Father, let your power and your glory and block these destinies and block these destinies every power that blocked you I rebuke it now every sacrifice every evil dream every spiritual abuse I end it now in the name of Jesus I impart power in the name of Jesus I impart power I impart power I impart power, the power of the Holy Spirit, the power of the Holy Spirit, the power of the Holy Spirit. Spirit. We unblock your destiny, we unblock your calling in the name of Jesus. I release you into greatness in the mighty name of Jesus. I release you into greatness. I release you into greatness. I release you into greatness. I unblock you now. I unblock you now. I and block you now. In the name of Jesus, I pick you up from the region of captivity and I carry you now back to us to be glorious, 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 to be glorious in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, wherever you are trapped, I enter the realm through the blood of Jesus. I locate you. Father God, I'm searching for her soul. I'm searching where she's trapped. And call her back now. I speak redemption on every gate of her soul, on every gate of her spirit. In the name of Jesus, the blood of Jesus redeem you to greatness. The blood of Jesus redeem you to greatness. In the name of Jesus, Jesus. The blood of Jesus redeem you to greatness. 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 The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. I speak the blood. I speak the blood of Jesus to redeem you now. I speak redemption. I speak redemption. I speak life. Parent, let's pray. Unblock your children. Unblock them right now. Release them today. I release them today into greatness. In the name of Jesus, I release you today into greatness. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I redeem you today. Bless you. I 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 bless you. In the name of Jesus. I bless you. In the name of Jesus. I bless you. In the name of Jesus. I bless you. I bless you. I bless you. Let's unblock lives in the name of Jesus. 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 In the name of Jesus.
In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Parents unblock. Father, we renounce evil. We renounce covenants that have ever blocked their lives. We renounce evil. We remove barriers. In the name of Jesus, I consecrate to the Lord. I consecrate to the Lord for greatness to be mighty. I consecrate you to the Lord. I consecrate to the Lord in the name of Jesus. I speak blessings over in the name of Jesus. I bless 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 in the name of Jesus. Bless in the name of Jesus. And block your spirit. Arise and be great. Arise and be mighty. In the name of Jesus. Arise and be great. In the name of Jesus. Arise and be mighty. In the name of Jesus. Arise and be mighty. Arise and be mighty. The power of Jesus Christ. And block you today. In Jesus' name. Amen. Give the Lord praise in the house of the Lord. Now, I want us to do something. Before they go, everyone in church, let's raise our hands and say, Father God, tonight, today, today, cut off blood battles. Cut off blood battles that ever blocked them. Make them warriors. Make them great. In Jesus' name. Amen. Give praise in the house of God. Amen. Amen. So, yes, dear. You have a song. One song. Okay, give us the microphone. So, um, please bear with us. We have one song. You can sit down. You don't want to let someone down today? Uh huh. Give us a song. You've forgotten it? Okay. Come here and they see you. Don't hide. If you have a song. I got a joy, 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 joy in my heart. heart. Where? in my heart. Where? in my heart. I got a joy, 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 joy. joy. Dove in my heart, red dove in my heart to say I'm so, so happy, I'm very happy. I love uh, Jesus in my heart. I'm so, so happy, I'm very happy. I love all uh, Jesus in my heart. I love all uh, the Jesus in my heart. I got a joy, 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 joy. Dove in my heart, red dove in my heart. Where? Dove in my heart, I got. Joy, 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 thou in my heart. Where thou in my heart to say, and I'm so happy, I'm very happy. I love I love Jesus in my heart. I'm so so happy, I'm very happy. I love I love Jesus in my heart. Amen. I am not surprised when she sings about joy. You can tell she's a child of joy. She's a child of joy. Okay, let's go to our classes. Let's go to our teachers. They're waiting for us. Uh -huh. Babies. Then the ladies. Then the gentlemen. Okay, babies first. Teacher, go with that baby. She can't go alone, please. Mommy? Someone is calling mommy here. Where's mommy? Uh huh. God bless you. God bless you. Abby, today you want to sing a song for us? Have a song. Stay here. You're gonna sing a song for us. God bless you. 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 next Sunday. God bless you. 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 Wow. God bless you. We have a next church. It's big, yeah. Uh -huh. God 
God bless you. Come on, 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 God bless you. 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 You're walking today. God bless you, dear. God bless you. 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 Come on, God bless you. God bless you. Come on, God bless you. God bless you. Come on, God bless you. Amen. 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 Clap for our children. To kubira bana bafengalo. Amen. Amen. I, I want to first welcome all of you who have come from the nations for the consecration camp. Let me see the hands if you've come outside Uganda. Amen. I think next up we need to, we need to sort out some things. You people, you are about to take us away. Wow. wow. Let me see the people that have come from the nations. Put your hands down. <laughs> Let me see the people from Uganda. I welcome you. Thank you for coming for the next 10 days of camp. 100 days ago we were here and God has done amazing things. Amen. Amen. In the last 100 days we were able to purchase land which we didn't have. Uh, the land for the consecration center in the last 100 days we bought the land. Amen. Over three acres of land. And in the last 30 days we began praying and believing God. And 15 days ago we decided to have the camp at the center. And, and we began building. 15 days ago. And I'm glad to inform you that the center is ready for you. Amen. Amen. At least it can accommodate you. The, 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 we have prepared a place where we can meet. It can take like 3,000 people. In the name of Jesus. We have prepared the washrooms and the camping ground in the name of Jesus. And all that we have been able to work on the power system. We bought a new generator for the camp. So don't fear darkness. We have worked on our water system at the camp. And all that is in the last 100 days. In Jesus' name. So in the last 100 at least we have the camp the campground. 
and uh, we will be there. Amen. Amen. Why? Uh, uh, let me share with you one of the visions I saw. You know, we have been going to the camp with Pastor Henry and my son Derek and Moses and Gloria. We've been there every morning at 6 a.m. Every day. Every day. Praying, waiting upon the Lord. And one of the visions I saw which I believe shall come to pass. Maybe it was, maybe because my heart is for children. It was about children. I saw people bring children and could drop drop them at the campground and suddenly they could get healed. Like crippled children. I, I, I was seeing like thousands of children and people, no one was ministering to them but they could be brought to the ground and the moment they stepped there they, they got healed. They got delivered. In another vision, I saw big dictionaries. And everyone who was entering the campground was receiving a dictionary, a book. And like it was the entry ticket. And I understood God was releasing mantles and scrolls to people. That land God has kept it for generations. There has been an intercessor who has been interceding on that land for the last 20 years not knowing why they are interceding. They were just interceding. And God said, God, this land, I don't know what to be used for. And the moment we went there, we felt the Lord said, this is the land. And we bought it cash. And I, I want to tell you something. When you go to the center, whatever you find there is debt free. Whatever you find there, the land and everything there, whatever is not there, because we have not yet got the money for it. But what is there, we are paying for it by the grace of God in the name of Jesus. So I, 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 I'm excited about what God is going to do in this camp. Uh, it's a time of separation. I request something hard for you. If possible, to switch off your phone for the next 10 days. If possible. If possible. Because we will not allow phones on in the sessions. Either you leave your phone in the hotel or you surrender it to security when you are entering. That's how serious this place, this camp will be. If possible, switch off your phone the next 10 days. Be, be unreachable. Be that they cannot reach you. And you just focus on, the, on, on God. That's why we are not in the city here. The camp is not in the city. The camp will be in a place called Gayaza. A place called Manyangwa. Amen. Amina. And by the way, Atera. coincidentally, coincidentally, that hill is the hill of my grandfathers. My grandfather 
My great grandfather, my great great grandfather, are all buried on the, in that hill. And I didn't even intend to do that. I just found the land there. And when I was buying the land, people began asking me. They could tell by my name. And they said, Aren't you so and so's great grandson? I said, Yes. Do you know? this whole hill. I told him, yes. My grandfather is in the church up there. there and my other fathers. So I don't know why the Lord is taking me back. And you know what? We, re, we found a well at the land. We found a well on the land. A historical well where many generations have been taking water. It can't be, it can't be a coincidence. There's a reason. And, and we dug another well so that the water we'll be using has nowhere to be defiled. It's not coming from the national system. It's coming from the ground. In the name of Jesus. That's another miracle. We found water on the land. We, were, we went to the land. There was a well. But when we were digging, we found that there is another place and we dug the well that is supplying the water to the camp in the name of Jesus. So it's very exciting but it's a time of separation and it's a camp. No three-star hotel. No Wi-Fi. Hallelujah. So the stronghold of Wi-Fi is, wi is going to be destroyed this week. No good restaurants. Amen. Amen. No good food. It's a camping ground. No tarmac. No tarmac. No tiles. It's a camping ground. It's a consecration camp. The good thing, there is space. Amen. I mean, I'm looking at that time when we will be released in the grounds. Each one to go in your corner far from other people and you go before the Lord and you follow before the Lord without anyone stopping you. We will have not so much preaching. It will be so much praying. Not praying in the, in the sanctuary but praying in the grounds for hours and hours. I'm also looking at a time when I'll be leading you, some of you, who will be camping at the midnight hour. When I'll be leading the midnight hour, but it's optional. When others return to their hotels, some of us at midnight, we shall join the apostle, the intercessor, the pastor in the grounds and pray together and tarry together and transact together because it's a camping consecration camp. Amen. Amen. So I'm looking forward for that. Now this, I now hear this. The first session of the consecration camp will start tomorrow at 2 p.m. Not in the morning. We want to get a gate, to catch a gate, the 3 p.m. gate. So from midday, there will be intercession, praying around the ground. But at 2, we begin the first session, which every one of us must be present. I'm expecting you to check in in your hotels tonight. But those that are coming from different parts of Uganda, by that time to be at the ground. And we start at 2. Okay? That must be noted. Those that will be those that want to 
to travel to the ground from this place. There will be transport here from six to midday. It's only for tomorrow. The coming days, you'll find your way there. The first day we will take you. Those in this area. Then other days, you'll find your way there. Okay? We take you the first day and we will see that you are back to this place if you are returning. That's for the first day. The rest of the days, you're going to be before the Lord. You'll find your way there. When you reach Manyangwa, you just ask consecration center. Or you tell the people, I am going to the new place. They call the, you tell them, I'm going to the new place with a big wall. The only wall in the community. <laughs> you just say, that I'm going somewhere there. Consecration center. A new place with a big church and a big wall. They will tell you where you're going. They may tell you, are you going to Namaina? You say yes. Yes, they will take it. Or you can call. Or you can put in a pin in your Google Maps. Life Consecration, Consecration Center. It will lead you to the place. In the name of Jesus. We shall give, announce, the camp is almost towards a, 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 one of the prominent schools there. So you follow the Lord going to St. Julian School. So it's almost there if you, you are seeing for direction. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Last announcement before I share with you the word. I'm glad to have the men of God with us. When I see these men of God, now I can go and rest. Amen. amen. Pastor Moshe, can you please stand and wave to us? Amen. Amen. Th through the camp, I am praying he doesn't confuse you. Because he brings some messages that are hard to, to but it's good for consecration. And also, Mama, we welcome you to Uganda. Welcome all the way from the beautiful land of Botswana. Amen. Amen. We have Prophet Martin. He will, he will disturb you, but it's okay, I'll be present to comfort you. <laughs> Amen. Uh, our camp commandant will be Pastor Henry. Pastor Henry, come here. All you will see at the camp the building, the planning it is this man I don't know if in the last two weeks if he has slept two hours a night we need to pray for him he's been working day and night so he's been in charge of the preparation. My work was just to enjoy. And he will be the camp in charge. So tomorrow he will tell us the, the details of the camp ground. We thank God for Pastor Henry. Amen. Amen. Uh, there is one you always know. <laughs> the fire brand. The fire brand. The fire brand. Amen. Amen. So Pastor Faida will be with us. And also we have the camp coordinator. Where is Gloria? Gloria. Where are you, Gloria? She's, she's already at the camp. Where, where? Out? You all know Gloria. Gloria, my name is Amen. You've not seen her around so much because I took her to be with her at the camp. Our work has been to 
pray every night and every day. We have left the people to either do administration work so that I can concentrate at the, at the, at the center. Before I preach, I have a request. If you feel you should be part of this, Work. and the Lord is touching you to give something let us give it now for the camp a thousand dollars a million dollars and I don't want to keep asking it again because during the camp we are going to be more of praying than looking at offerings. There is much more to do at the camp. A lot. Paving the ground. Tamaking the road. And other things. We need a lot of money. Normally I don't ask for money. But I feel I need your help. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. Please pick an envelope and put your sacrifice there. We want to raise by the grace of God at least $50,000. Ah, people are feared now. That is some people that, some people that spoke change. We want to put our offering today because even today before you go tomorrow there are things that need to be put in place they need to prepare the ground to prepare the sound system sound system to prepare other things to be done at the center so that you are a blessing please uh, you can write a, you, 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 you can write your name and, and just say this is the first fruit of the camp. If you're online, please do that. They put the, the details. Uh -huh, thank you so much. That's the first fruit. The thousand, the two thousand, the five thousand, the ten thousand whatever the Lord is telling you to do, that is for the center so that it goes smoothly. So we can put fuel in the generator, we can buy whatever we need to buy. In the name of Jesus. You may, you may, you may say, you may pledge. So thank you for what you're giving. Amen. And people from Uganda, I will tell you the truth. You better do something big. Because the people from the nations really are giving. They've been really a good support to this work. And also I want to ask you, if you have a business mind, better get land near the center. Maybe build a hotel there. Because right now, all the hotels in Gaza area are fully booked. All of them. Now we don't know how we are putting more people. So if there's someone who can invest, I can be a good investment partner for you. Especially in the, because these camps are going to continue. And they're going to become bigger and bigger in the next three years. And even more. So you better invest there. Mm, you better think about investing in a hotel before someone takes it. Amen. Amen. Let's give.
Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, this is our first fruit for the consecration camp. Lord, remember us. Every prayer that will be prayed in that center, let our names be remembered. Let our children be remembered. Father, we partake the blessing and the anointing in that place, King of Glory, but also in this mission and this assignment in the name of Jesus. King of glory, show yourself mighty in Jesus' name. Amen. Please walk and put in the baskets. Let's do it faster. Thank you so much. God bless you. God bless your family. God bless, God bless your blood. In Jesus' name. God bless your blood. God bless your blood. God bless your blood. God bless your blood. May the Lord put his blessing upon your blood. May God bless your blood. May God bless your blood. God bless your blood. God bless your blood. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. As you bring your offerings, let me remind you about the theme of the camp. Of the, uh, the, the camp, the camp. Uh, it is blood battles. Winning blood battles. Winning blood battles. The first time the word blood is mentioned in the Bible, it was about God telling a man in Genesis chapter 4 what have you done verse 10 the voice of your, blood, your brother's blood is crying to me from the ground the voice of your brother's blood is crying some the voice of the blood. Say the voice of the blood. Say the voice of the blood. So the Bible is saying the blood is crying and so God is telling Cain the voice of your blood is crying against me. Is crying to me from the ground. Now listen to what I'm going to say. The land keeps records. And one of the records that is not easily erased from the land is the records of blood. Are you getting me? It's a bit deep. One of the the archives, one of the things that keeps records of families, of generations of nations, it's the land. And when the land records 
things. Then the land reports. And when the land reports, and the land is given authority against those to whom it's reporting. So in this instance, we do not know how long it took. But Cain kills Abel. And it was not one even then the next day. I don't know how long it took. Maybe Cain killed Abel and everything was forgotten. Maybe the father was not there and the mother was not there. Maybe Maybe it was a secret. Cain's secret. Killed Abel. And maybe gave a story. It may not have been this, that day. It seems after some time. The Lord was uncomfortable in heaven. Every time you could look at the land. The land was reporting something. Every time it looks at the land. The land is saying. So it comes to Cain. And says the blood. The voice of the blood of your brother is crying to me. Is crying to me. So the land has a record. The land has recorded blood. Our cities have recorded blood. Our properties have recorded blood. Our streets have recorded blood. Our family land have records of blood. Hello? Hello. And here what I'm going to say. Sometimes you, you buy demons. You ask God to remove the curse. But the accuser is not the demon. The accuser is the land. Who has a record. And he said I have a record. Against these people. And let me stay with this. When the enemy has seen that you have a bright destiny, he shifts attacks and come in alliance with the land which has a record that's contrary to you. And he, get, and he gets the land as a witness against your life against your children. And that's why many of us we are saying but what we've been in church for years we've been doing things why are we not getting a breakthrough? Why don't we why do why the enemy still has access to us? Why is uh, what why the enemy has taken our children? Am I talking to somebody? And you're saying, Pastor, this delay in my life, this stagnancy, these attacks, I see I'm supposed to be somewhere. But every time I try to arise, someone in the spirit, the evil one li uh, uh, blocks me, obstructs me, and cannot let me ascend, cannot let me prosper, cannot let me get into my marriage. And you say, I bind, you succeed, you break curses, but you have not understood the record contrary to you. You know, Jesus had to get those records and nail them on the cross. He nailed them with his blood because they were records of blood. Now, where there are records of blood, and you've not learned to win blood battles, some of the things you will see blood infirmities, blood disorders, sicknesses, pains, issues of blood. And you say, 
If, and you find that most of your life, there are issues of distortion and corruption in the blood. Because the battles of the, the enemy has shifted the battle. And he is now standing in the realm where, the, where God says, whoever sheds blood must account with the blood. Hello? 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 You know, it's a hard teaching. We're going to deal with it seriously. Because this is what I'm seeing. Deep in the battles you are, you are dealing with, there is an element of blood covenants. Please do not take blood covenants light. Do not just say, I'm born again. These are high level transactions that involved blood and high degrees of blood. You know, all blood is not at the same degree in the spirit. Are you getting me? There are different degrees. The blood of goats, the blood of birds, the blood of animals could not wipe away sin until another degree of blood. The blood of a firstborn. The blood of a firstborn. Now that blood was able to create to deal with sins. Because the first man who shed blood was a firstborn. The first man who shed blood was a firstborn. So there needed to be the blood of a firstborn to deal with that death. Are you getting me? Now listen church. As intercessors, our work is not mourning. Our work is transactions. Our, as an intercessor, your, your work is not God crying. It's transacting. Now there are protocols principles and rules of transacting. Even currencies, even seasons when to trade and what to use to trade. Winning blood battles is about learning how to transact. Ah. Amen. Life is about trade. The spiritual realm is about trading. It's trade. Hello? Hello. Trading. People trade thrones. They give their children to have thrones. A man don't someone. When you sell a man in authority, don't ask him which university he went to. Ask him the transaction. This is not the usual anointing. Ah! I'm her father. I'm the father too. Please the don't the honor tata her tata so much. <laughs> honor also the father. The, tata the fruit does not fall far from the tree. Okay? <laughs> hey. 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 The anointing is here. When you see a man, you may think he's not intelligent but suddenly he's in a realm of power. Don't, don't ask them what degree they have. Search the transactions. Where do they transact? How do they transact? When do they transact? What level of transaction for that man to be a president, for that man to be great? People may love you. It doesn't make you a leader. People may love you. It doesn't make you rich. 
what puts you there it's the level of your transaction it's the power of your trade oh my god it's the power of your trade when Jesus as the Lamb of God entered the throne room and there was no worthy no one was found in heaven on earth and under the earth to break the seal to open the book and look into it when he came and they said he's worthy why with his own blood he has purchased with his own blood he has purchased men from every town from every tribe from every people for God to be a kingdom he purchased them for a kingdom for God he didn't just say God have them he bought them he came and said they were trading and there were different offers and he said my offer is my blood my offer what I'm trading with is my blood for James so he took the battle in the realm of the blood I might dump somebody. I need a prophet in the house to pick me in the ranks. Pick me up now. He did not say, God, give them to me. He said, I have bought them. My offer, my offer is my blood. My own blood. I am buying them from the hands of the devil. Are you getting what I'm talking about? It's not about this, you know, God, I love it. It's about transaction. While you are sleeping, men are trading. While you are sleeping, transactions are going on. You may be favored, but you can't ascend the realm of power with just favor. You need to trade. You need to know because in the spirit it's about exchange. What are you exchanging for? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There are several times I call people in the night and tell them wake up. Wake up. It's time. There's a transaction going on in the realm of the spirit. Wake up at 3 a.m. because there's a trade. They're trading because there are times when the trading floor of heaven is open. There are times when nations are for trading. And they say, who is buying Uganda? Uganda. What is your offer? What is your offer? Uganda is now Uganda on the stock. He's on the table. And what is your trade? And the angel wakes you and says, bring the blood and buy Uganda. Bring the blood and buy Botswana. Bring the blood and buy Kenya. But you are sleeping and the battle is won. Someone said the blood. Did I say about trading? By the time you come to the voting box, the transaction is already done. It doesn't matter the numbers. It doesn't matter the numbers. You may have the numbers, but you don't take the throne. 
you may have the marks and they say all the people who were interviewed you scored the highest but you were not giving it to you because someone in the unseen realm treaded in the night while you were drinking you come for interview you seem to be the best candidate but they ask you questions and you can't answer them though you know them because before you came there was a transaction you felt the interview before in the transaction. You leave the interview room. You remember everything. But while you were there, the other transaction blocked you. Have you had people who, lo who lose their marriage on the wedding day? All days to the wedding. The man who loved you and was dying for you. Two days to the wedding. He changes his mind. What has changed him? A blood transaction. A blood transaction. Oh, I wish I could. Listen, some of you, you are not supposed to be here. You are supposed to be in the highest offices. The advisor of the general secretary. But as you were going, a transaction was done on your feet. And a blood transaction happened on that day. Let me remind you, before you went for that meeting, suddenly you had a bleeding. You didn't know what's, where it's coming from. You know, why am I bleeding now? Listen, God was reminding you a transaction of blood. And you didn't know how to take the battle there. You just say, there is nothing like just blood. They've not heard what I said. There is nothing in the spirit. There is not, don't say it's just blood. Even if it's a drop from your body. It's not just blood. Let me tell you. Some of you do not understand. The effects of transfusions in you. It's not just blood. It's a transaction. Something happens. The people you give your blood, but they are doing tests. A little is used to test. A little is put on an altar. And you've not prayed for your blood not to be used illegally in any evil transaction. You just offer your blood. They come in the evening. We come to collect more. The one we took in the morning was we, we didn't get the real results. You give more. And the drinker of blood is paying for your blood to drink it and win you at that level. If they fail to fight you in any way, they will engage using your blood and fight using your blood. May God judge any altar that has been using blood, your own blood against you. Wherever your blood is stored for evil, let God thunder there. Wherever your blood is stored for evil, any place that has your blood for evil transaction, let fire smash it now. Let fire destroy it now. Let let fire break it now. We stop the transaction. We stop the trades which they have been using in the name of Jesus.
Give the Lord praise. Now, listen. The sword is not for decoration. The sword is for blood. The sword on a soldier is not for cutting trees. The sword is for blood. Every time you see a sword, remember its food is blood. That's why you have the sword of the spirit. <laughs> you have the sword of the spirit. And its food is blood. There are several positions you will take to win blood battles. There are people you will remove in your life because they carry blood that attacks you. They are people you should not associate with because they carry blood that fight you. They are not fighting you, but the blood they carry fights your life, blocks your destiny. Because blood battles are destiny blockers. Destiny blockers. And some people just want us to, to, to commune with you. And form a community with your blood. And they defile you with the blood they carry. There's some men that came in your life. All they wanted is the blood. There's some women that came in your life. And all they wanted is to join the blood to your blood. Until you cut them off. Until you cut him off. And say, I cut off his blood. From my blood. By the blood of Jesus. I cut off his blood. This is a serious prayer. Many families today. Their mental illness. Is a blood battle. Failure at breakthrough is a blood battle. Am I talking to you? Marital failures is a blood battle. There are people I pray for and the Lord says, stop. It's a blood battle. It's a blood battle. It's blood against blood. It's blood fighting. It's, the, it's blood speaking. It's ancient blood. Now some of the battles are not your battles. They were introduced in the blood thousands of years ago. And now it's part of you because a strange woman introduced strange blood in the bloodline. And the one with the strange blood became the hair of your father. And from that time, all of you are scattered, all of you become poor, except the one with strange blood. It's a hard lesson. It's a hard lesson. I pray in the name of Jesus that the blood of Jesus will purge your blood and remove the battles. May purge your blood and remove every infiltration and every pollution in your nation, especially in the royal bloodline. 
especially in the kingship of your nation, in the leaders of your nation, there was an infiltration, a pollution in the blood that we are seeking purging. They've not heard what I say. You've not heard what I say. Listen, you are ascending to greatness but the, corrupt, the corruption in the blood always diverts you always diverts you and you waste more years oh my God. and you waste more years in things that are not working because it's a corruption a distortion you have the talent you have the money you have the call you have the ability you have the know-how but suddenly you are always diverted to places you will not prosper because of a pollution in the blood. Jesus said in the last supper this cup that's a code. This cup is the new covenant in my blood. This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Let me say something briefly. I have been investigating and I've learned something. I don't know if the church has learned this. The power of Holy Communion to erase records of the of blood on the land. This may disturb you. If I tell you. You need the land needs communion. <laughs> this is strange teaching. The land Etaka. needs communion. Some gates need communion. And you stand there and break bread with them. And the land receives communion. And the office receives communion. Before you present that file, it receives communion. Before you write that report, it receives communion. Before you sign that deal, you tell them, wait a minute. Give me a few seconds. You have communion with the blood of Jesus, with the deal you are signing. Because it's a covenantal act. I'm just wondering how you traveled from your nation to here without having Holy Communion when you are starting the journey. Hello? You didn't? I'm just imagining how you go for a mission without calling the covenant act of Holy Communion, breaking the body of Christ and drinking his blood, and you go in that covenant because every battle you are going in, there is a blood battle. There is no battle where blood is not involved. Did you hear what I said? There is no battle. Maybe I need to share with you many testimonies of children who received Holy Communion from their parents three days, three times a day and they recovered from disorders. Because he watches his word. He said, this cup is the new covenant in my blood. He didn't say, I'm giving you my blood. He says, just a cup is the new covenant. Listen, the land has been receiving cups that defile it. I'm 
I said the land has been drinking from evil cups. And a time is coming when the land will rejoice because of a cup that is not defiled. Because of a cup that is in the blood of Jesus. Because of a cup that has purity from a pure hand. Church, Kanisa. there are things the church need to recover. Systematic teaching and training. Especially Nadala. about Holy Communion. Nadala kusembera. About Holy Communion. Kukusembera. And real communion. Because some communion is mixed with things. Some places, they say this Holy Communion. But you don't know what is mixed. I was there. I was in those religions. And I know how the, 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 the cup was mixed. And how people could be served that cup. And they thought they were drinking from the cup of God. But they are drinking from the cup of a demon. Because behind the altar, a demon first received the cup. I was there for years. I was a bow from as a young boy. I was serving at the altar. I know how the cup was being mixed. Sometimes with human blood. And that's the cup people drink from. But there are also invisible cups that control nations. May the Lord empty them. May God empty evil cups. The cup of divination. If you ever drank on an evil cup, let it dry right now. I say let it dry right now. I command it to dry right now. And I speak now. The covenant. In the blood of Jesus. Let me share this with you. One day we, went, we were with a group of people. Young people and old people. And we had been sent to go in a certain church. In a certain nation. We are traveled from 19 nations to go and attack this church. It was a big church. A prayerful church. But it happened that that Sunday morning out of nowhere as the pastor came into the church compound he called the team and said prepare a holy communion it was not planned you know why? because some of the elders and some of the leadership team were members of the Freemasons and we are part of the occult. If they had known earlier, they would have defiled the cup. Because they were the ones serving it. But this pastor, because he was led by the Spirit, he came in the parking, he called said, prepare communion. No one in the church knew that there was communion. So they did a praise as usual and we are communicating with these elders. Let me tell you this. Satan is not all knowing. The devil is not all knowing. He's always caught of God. So we were in a meeting. High level witches. And we were commu communicating with the elders and this past, and this part of the team. That day the pastor was to die on the altar. He was to be hit and die. And then a scandal happens. 
and one of the elders was supposed to take over as the pastor. The one who was a part of the, the secret society was to take over the pastor. The pastor was to die suddenly and this was to take over. And when the pastor came, he opened his Bible. He said, Come. Then we realized the ushers were bringing articles of communion. And the, the elder said, It's not on program. He got blind. Suddenly in the meeting, the 19 of us, 10 gave their lives to Christ that day. In, in that, that service, the pastor did not preach. He just began serving communion. And listen what happened. None of us could leave the meeting. We turned and huge angels covered in blood with the, with the sword dripping the blood were guarding the gates the windows and everyone who could take communion a drop of blood from the angel could come on their head and suddenly get healed the, this one who did not repent that was their judgment when, we escape, when I escaped that meeting, I knew from that time it's not only wine and Jewish people drinking. God in heaven honors his son through the blood of Jesus. No wonder many churches ignore Holy Communion. No wonder. You take months, sometimes years, without coming to the Lord's table because a witch will not come on that table. A witch, when he comes, he's finished. He's finished. When he leaves, he cannot be accepted back in their meeting. When he happens to come for communion and break bread and is not repentant, he will not be allowed back in their gathering. I'm telling you from experience. You don't know how much I paid to be reaccepted because I just attended a meeting where the body of Christ was broken and the blood of Jesus honored. Oh my, 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 my. Listen. The, this blood, this cup, the moment you pray, it takes a spiritual form. It takes a physical object, takes a spiritual form. And at that moment, the unseen realm recognizes the transaction. I would like to teach the church winning blood battles through Holy Communion, through breaking bread, through honoring the blood of Jesus. It's not just a drink. It's not just a drink. It's a transaction. It's not just a bread. It's a transaction. Now listen to this. When you were initiated, did you eat a whole cow? Did you, heal, did you eat a whole goat? What did you eat? A little piece of bread. And that sealed your life. Am I talking somewhere? Your, the one who initiated you just fed you with a little juice. And from that time you were under the control of Jezebel. Am I talking to somebody? That Jezebel who came in the house and fed all of you didn't have to feed you many times. It was one meal that your husband lost his mind. It was one meal that your child lost his mind. 
it shall be one meal that your destiny will be unblocked. It shall be one transaction which is this afternoon and your life will be now changed and your destiny will be unblocked and your marriage will be restored and your son will be restored and your nation will be revived. Somebody shout hey! Every morning in the camp, we shall break bread. Every evening in the camp, we shall break bread. Twice a day, for ten days, and we shall see what the transaction will do. We shall see if the blood still speaks. We shall see if the blood of Jesus still has a past power. We shall see if the blood blood of goats is powerful than the blood of Jesus. Oh my God. Ricarabobo Shatade Masili de Ledo Shatala Ricarabobo Shadia Ricaretaro Shadade Ricaratabo Shediara Ricarababaro Tadia Siarababo Shatadea Macalebo Ziadea Radere de Arabos Ziere Bababarados Zikatata Rikera Rikarabo Shete Zia in Jesus' name. Sit down and tell you something. Unlike the first camp, this camp, it will be transactions. Every day, we shall have a prophetic act. A prophet transaction. I may take some of you on, a, on a, an intercessor's tour. On some strategic places. To do transactions. And you learn how to do them in Uganda. Then you can do them in your nation. Some of you, I may take you to intercessor's tour on strategic prophetic places for transactions and I, tr and I show you as an intercessor transactions hello 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 hello, hello. because some of times there are people that are detained in places you need to go to places and open the prison there. You know, the prison at the source of the Nile. Be free now in the name of Jesus. The prison at the source of the Nile. <laughs> Do you hear what I'm talking about? Now, that prison at the source of the Nile is connected to many prisons in many waters in many nations. In many people, many, many places, some of you, it's the water that's binding you. It's the water that's binding you. And the one prison at the source of the Nile opens all the other prisons where destinies have been detained underwater, where marine altars have been controlling you. And the crocodile will die. And Behemoth will die. And Leviathan will die. Then marriages will be released. Then nations will be released. Their waters shall be dried. Some are saying the name of Jesus. Let the water dry. Let the water dry. Let the water dry. Let the water dry. And the nation be free. And the nation will be free. Say, oh Lord, let your sword smite the crocodile that is in the river. 
I release destinies. The sword of the Lord smite the crocodile, smite Behemoth in the water and the nations and destinies and children and finances and wealth be vomited now, be vomited now, somebody now, the prison at the Nile, the prison at the Nile, open now and the captives come out the prison in Limpopo the prison in Okavango be open now be open now be open now be open now Zagadadia 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 Zariteria Riketadia Ragadataya Shiaratia Shiereta Siarate Sarababa Shiketadia Salaboda Riketadia Shikarade Radea Rikerata Shiereta Sharadea Sharadia Ramanda la cadet de 
Aziz 
I want you to hear the transaction that has just happened. Oh my God. I want to hear the transaction that has just happened in the spirit. Get the microphone. Give me another microphone, please. Just keep praying, keep praying. This and as we engaged, as we were in a moment of transaction, I seen what looked like a figure falling through the sky. And I begin to ask the Lord in my heart, what's this figure falling from the sky? And he reminded me what he said to the disciples in Luke chapter 10. He says, I saw Satan fall like lightning from heaven. <laughs> The whole context of Jesus speaking to the disciples was in the context of authority because he sent them out and they came back. 
came back and they were happy and joyful that the demons were subject to their power. And Jesus began to speak about the authority that was upon them, that was upon their lives. That authority that Satan had, he fell to the ground. His position was moved. And now the disciples, now we have a new level of authority because of the blood of Jesus. Our position has changed. Our location in the spirit has changed. Satan has fallen like lightning. The position of your life has changed. The position of your bloodline has changed. The generational position has changed. The position has changed. The position has changed. The position, the location has changed. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Let me greet in the name of Jesus. As, as we came in, we sat down, the sisters were preparing. Let me stand next to you, Farida, I'll have my anointing. <laughs> the Lord. So the sisters were preparing. And this sister brings bottles of water. When I look at them, it, they look like glasses of Holy Communion. I just said, oh, Holy Communion. Oh, Holy Communion. Oh, Kusembera. And I remember 2020, Pastor James, we had in this, this same hall, we had in communion every day. I said, what has happened to life we're now? Last year when we were here, I can't recall we having held communion. If it happened, it could be once. Let me say this again. This is the time of Holy Communion. You want to win the battle? Do you want to win the battle? It is not a casual drink. It is not a casual bread. Praise the Lord. It's not. You know, I, I will soon confuse you. <laughs> I will soon come up with confusion. <laughs> Holy communion is not just picking up a cup of drink <laughs> and sip it. It's more than that. It's not picking bread, <laughs> cut it, and eat it. It's more than that. We want to go through that. Do it. Now listen. Maybe you didn't hear it well. You did not hear it well. Someone fell when we were transacting. Evil is not something. Evil is someone. It's the evil one. Evil is not it. Evil is not a power. Evil is a person. And while we are transacting, someone lost a position. Someone a being in the in the realm of, in the realm, an evil one. It must be a fallen son. Fell down. You may not see anything physical now, but wait the coming days. 
let me tell you something. In the previous days before today, the enemy has been wanting to get blood from your family, from your dear one. You've seen the battles around. He has been wanting to get blood. Thank God you've reached now. Listen, that was not just an accident. He was looking for blood. The angel did not allow him. When that car crashed into your car, they were looking for blood. Just a drop from you. Thank God none of your blood was lost. What has been happening since the beginning of this month, he has been desperate to get blood. Until now, he could not have it. And now, the evil one has fallen. The evil one in the land has fallen. The evil one in the family has fallen. Somebody praise the Lord. You know, not everyone stands on this altar. These men, I trust them. Martin does not just say words. The evil one. And I've not seen, but I've believed. From today, I'll declare it. The evil one, a principality, a wickedness in the heavenly places, they have fallen. I'm seeing Ndaba. armies Amaje. that were planning this week Weekeno. to attack Israel. Israel. And I'm seeing Ndaba. a wind Empeo. like storm. Nga omuyaga. And I'm seeing one of the heads of those nations in seven days he will be no more. And the war against Israel will not happen. Will not happen. Do not happen. The Lord has paralyzed all the weapons because instead there shall be a funeral in that nation that attacks Israel. Before the end of this camp, you will see the news. Before the end of this camp, you will know the God of Israel is a God who fights battles. The God of Israel, the Lord God we serve, is a man of war. Listen, I have not called a sword for decoration this week. It's not just good pictures. But I know what I'm saying. I know what I'm dealing with. I know what will happen. The occult will be no more in your family. The evil one has fallen. What comes to me is, I, is Isaiah 14. How you have fallen. <laughs> How you have fallen. Oh, morning star. How you have fallen. You who made kings tremble. How you have fallen. You the wicked. 
that ruled my family. Oh, somebody say, how you have fallen. Now, you're, we're going to take communion. Not eating. We're going to transact. While you are eating and drinking, you set in motion angels that will fight every battle that has been in your life for many generations. The evil one has fallen. The evil one in your nation has fallen. Before you leave this camp, you will hear news that it has happened. What we waited for has come to pass. What we interceded for for Botswana has come to pass. For Kenya, has, for Nigeria has come to pass. Sit down. This is what we're going to do. If you have your tithe, just bring it and stand here quickly. Quickly, quickly, we'll finish the tithe. Those with tithe, come and bring them here. Stand here, in here. I want to receive your tithe. Whatever you do today, is judging the evil one. Come here. Where there is a tithe, whether it's an offering, whether it's a love offering, just stand with it here. Just stand. Tithe, tithe is only please. Make a good line. Those with tithes. Father, judge the devourer. Judge the devourer of these businesses. They shall be abundance. No scarcity again. Let me speak this word. He who exchanged wealth using blood in your bloodline has fallen today. Ash has come here because I see transaction going on the altar. Ash has be fast here. Some lift your hands. It's not a tithe today. Ash has come and stand here. It's a transaction going on today. They went on an altar and took a tithe. You are redeeming them. You are redeeming the wealth of your father. You are redeeming your mind. You are redeeming your marriage. You are redeeming your bloodline. Ashes, ashes, ashes. You are redeeming bloodlines. You are redeeming the fruit of the womb. You are redeeming the fruit of the womb. You are, you are redeeming the fruit of the womb. You are redeeming redeeming children that are born in that womb and their wealth and their destinies and their destinies in the name of Jesus you will never be jobless you always have abundance you always open doors you always be a pathfinder you always live in abundance the God who gave me a breakthrough gives you a financial breakthrough grant you access unlimited access unlimited access to wealth unlimited access to wealth let the archives, let the vaults of heaven where wealth is stored be given unto you. Ascend realms of wealth. Ascend realms of wealth. Somebody where you're standing now, I cut, I remove the spell of the occult. Karoshara. I remove the spell of the occult. I remove the spell of the occult. That has made you poor. That devour your finances. The crocodile that takes your money. Dies now. The, woman, the old woman that exchanged your wealth and the inheritance of your father's house. Today, in the name of Jesus, I give you the keys now. I give you ashes.
Ashes. Ashes. I give you the keys now. 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 The key of the house. The key of the houses. The key of the lands. The key of the property. I give it to you now. I shall be ready. I give you the keys now. I give you access to that house. Access to that land. Access to that account. Access to that money. Access now. I give you the keys in the spirit. I release your mind. Whatever block to you, I deliver you from a mental blackout, from a spiritual blackout, from a financial blackout. In the name of Jesus, I shall be set free now. Be released now. Be released now. Be released now. Be released now. I give you the keys. I give you the keys. I hand over the keys. Jesus said, I have the keys. Now I give them to you. Now I give them to you. And now I give them to you. I break the chain of poverty. I break the chain of love. Now I give you the key. Now I give you the key. Now I give you the key. I remove the oak out from your life today. I break the initiation when they took your money, when they took your blessing, where they exchanged your star. They exchanged your star. Now, now, I give you back your position. Now I give you back your position in the nation. In that nation, in that city, in that state, in that state, I give you back your opposition. Your position. I give you back your position. I give you back your position in that state. I give you back your position. I give you back your birthright. Your birthright. Somebody pray. Birthrights. 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 Your birthright. Your birthright. As an authority in that family. As an authority in that state. As an intercessor. As a gatekeeper. There is a gatekeeper here. There is a gatekeeper here. Who receives back the keys? There is a gatekeeper. There is a gatekeeper. Open for the apostles. Open for the prophets. Open for the pastors. Open for governors, open for senators, open for them. Put them in office, 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 put them in office. Governors, senators, leaders, you are gatekeeper, you are gatekeeper, you have the key, you have the star of the city, you have the star of the state. You have the star of the family. You have the star. Ricardo Shatayadea. I have not seen this. You have the star of the city. Put them in office. Receive the gatekeeper's anointing. Take back your birthright. 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 Ay 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 ay. Everybody in church, stand on your feet. Everybody in church, take back your position. Take back your birthright. You have the star and the key. You have the star and the key. The children of your womb are stars. Take back. Pray for your birthright. Even that which you don't know. Your birthright. Your birthright. Your birthright. There is a woman here as a gatekeeper. As a gatekeeper. As a gatekeeper. As a gatekeeper, as a gatekeeper, a as a gatekeeper, they had discarded you. 
they had thrown you away. They were rejecting you. But today, I give you a position. They shall look for you. You have the star that gives them office. You have the star that puts them in position. There is a young man here. Take back your birthright. Take back your birthright. Take back the birthright to produce wealth. To produce wealth. To produce wealth. To produce wealth. Oh my God. Oh my God. You, someone I speak to you. You are a gatekeeper. You are a gatekeeper. You open that gate. You install governors. You install senators. You speak to their offices and they obey because they have run in the spirit that you have the star, you have the courts, you have the courts of the state. You have the courts, the courts, the symbols, the instruments of power, the instruments of power put in your right hand, instruments of wealth put in your right hand, instruments of wealth. Somebody hear my prayer, instruments of wealth put in your right hand, instruments of wealth put in your right hand, now and forever for your bloodline. In Jesus' name. One, receive your tithe. God bless you. God bless you. My God, who Karabu Shadaya, who si Karadu Shatara, Asha Shakarabo Shi Karabo, I need an Asha here, Makoro do Shiria. Mara de Katabro is not a tithing, it's a transaction. Marika Ratara, you are buying nations, you are buying destinies. Saradikato, Zikele Karabo Shaya. Asha's where are you? Rikarababa. Ashindari Kerikoro. Siele Karado Shara. Matili Karado Shekaradia. Mazalabo Shatadeyaria. Riele Badado Shedaya Dea. Mande Riala. I remove the reproach. Zagarado Shadea. Mandili Karado Shatarabada. Zagarado Sheria. Masele Barado Sheria. Matadari Keti Jose. Mantarado Sheria. Marado Sheria, Maziki Rata Roshada, Lesi Karabose Karabosa, Makorosi Karado Sharade, Rikarado Sandere Prada Kaya, Matarado Kadibro Karada, Rikarado Sandere, Matarado Sherede, Rikarado Sarade, Matarado Sikarado Sede, Matarade Kasire, Rikarado Sade, Matarado Sade. Mandela <laughs> Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. I don't know if you are still tithe or offerings. 
or mixed? Mixed. Okay, just bring the offerings. Bring them and the tithe. If they are offerings, bring them. <laughs> now, offerings, tithes. Offerings, put them together. We, we shall find, we shall see the envelopes. It's, it's all in God's house. Bless you, sir. Bless you, bless you, bless you. Please, don't go before the Holy Communion. It's not just bread. God bless you. 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 Give it to me here in my hand, please. God bless you. 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 God bless you so much. God bless you so much. God bless you so much. God bless you. So much. God bless you. God bless you so much. 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 God bless you. God bless you. Sorry. God bless you. Sorry, baby. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you so much. God bless you. 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 May God honor your sacrifice. 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 God bless you. May God honor your sacrifice. 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 God bless you. God bless you. God bless you so much. God bless you so much. God bless you. 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 May God bless you so much. May God bless you. May God bless you. May God bless you so much. May God bless you. In Jesus' name. May God bless you. Come running faster. Let me receive it. God bless you. Amen. Amen. Ah, uh, just to make we we were we are to install our air conditioner here, so that I stop sweating. <laughs> but uh, when we, when the center came up, center we we stopped that project. Project here, of the air conditioner in this room until we finish the center. But maybe in, in, a, in a few months it will be in so that the heat stops. But at least we are able to make the ceiling. Amen. Uh, before we go, as we go for communion, all ministers here, Life Church of Christ, you are supposed to report at the center today this evening all ministers of life which are to Christ today you are to report at the center so you, we are spending the night there in prayer and preparation amen you come with your food okay hey, why come fasting but ministers, we shall be at the center today. The bus is here. Bus ready. We thank God for our bus. Amen. And uh, 
We want to buy a second bus this week. In Jesus' name. Why are you laughing at me? You don't have faith. We, we need a second bus. That bus is not we enough for us. Actually, we need five buses. We bus in uh, also, let me make, make this announcement. Next, okay. The service next Sunday, service Sunday Dako. will be at the center. center. Do not be here. Be but there will be transport at, 10, at 9.30 we'll from here to the center. And the service will be at the, the consecration center next week. week you know. But the other Sundays, the services will be here. The consecration center is not a church. We will not be having Sunday services there. The Sunday services will be here. The other place is for consecration. It's not a church. So we don't have daily programs except these 10 days. So after the 10 days, we shall come back here. Then we shall return another 10 days. And after the end of the 100 days, that is for the center. It's not a church. Lifeway is the church. And your churches. The center is for consecration. It's for the body of Christ. Amen? Amen. Yes. When there are people that need consecration and it's a group, maybe it's a church and we trust their doctrine, we, we say, come and have it here at the center. Because it's a place, a place for the body of Christ. Amen. But we need to know the doctrine. <laughs> These days, you don't bring in anything. Yes. Amen. Can you, can you have it, please? So we're going to have the pastors. Uh, will help me here. Uh, Prophet Martin will help me. Pastor Moshe will help me. Uh, Pastor Henry, Pastor Farida. We'll have two serving centers. Four. One, two, three, four. four. And we are not go when you receive the bread and the cup don't take wait and we take at the same time don't just hold them and transact you receive the cup you receive the the bread sit in your chair and trade speak wealth speak to your marriages whatever the Lord brings to your attention wait and we eat at the same time Father we give you glory and honor we bless your holy name we invite you we invite your spirit we invite your blood to take over these elements now you created the heaven and the earth. You can turn this drink into your blood. You can turn this quit into your body. We thank you for the finest wheat and the best, the best fruit that you have produced. We consecrate these elements to you. Father, sanctify them. Sanctify them. Sanctify each one of them. Jesus, come and hover over these elements. Spirit of the living God. Maradi ikata. Ziele boko tablo ziela. Likeri kado jadadeka. Riere boko tado shere. Matika Rabosha, let it be healing to the sick, O oh, King of Glory. Let it be the element that breaks the curse, O oh, King of Glory. Let them be deliverance to the bound, Lord. Father, as they take them, even on behalf of those who are not here, some will take on behalf of their children, some will take on behalf of their marriages, some will take on behalf of their nations. Father, use this element to smite the evil one. To smite the evil one. Father God, by this element, the thrones of our nations reject the evil one. 
We reject the wicked. We inside the thrones against wickedness, King of Glory. Father, some will take for their children as they partake, King of Glory. Those sons and daughters will be brought back from addiction, from immorality, from bondage. Father God, every child, every person that will receive this element will never be initiated, will never be taken to the evil one. This is a mark in their bodies. This is a mark in their bodies. The mark of the blood of Jesus. 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 It shall be holy in our bodies, Lord. It shall be holy in our bodies, Father. It shall be holy in our mind, King of glory. It shall be holy even in our marriages, Father, as we partake even our marriage beds be sanctified. The hands that are going to touch receive wealth. The bodies that are going to receive be healed, Lord. Any evil deposit in bodies will be flushed out in the name of Jesus. Makota bro Oh God, now I ask the court of heaven to be in session to be in session. I ask the Holy Spirit, my advocate, to be present. I ask Jesus, my Lord, to be present also. I ask the blood of Jesus to be present in the courts of heaven as this session goes on. Even the accused of the brethren be present but silent in the courts of heaven as this transaction is going on, Lord. Let it be legal. Let be acceptable. Father, I ask you today, sanction this transaction. Sanction this activity. Let be sanctioned in heaven. By faith, I believe these elements have been sanctioned for your service to represent the blood of Jesus. And now, Father God, I call upon the new covenant in the blood of Jesus upon these elements in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. The night he was betrayed, he took the bread and after giving thanks, he broke it. He said, take this. It's my body. And afterwards, he took the cup. And said, this cup is the new covenant in my blood. Lord, today, we do this in memory and in agreement with what you did on the cross. The blood of Jesus shall speak for generations after us in our DNA. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.